Hi YouTube, it's me Josh. I thought I'd do a update on uh, March 10th, uh, 2016. It is 11.50 p.m. Yes, I know it's late. Um, I'll be drinking an A&W root beer, so... Yeah. Uh, quite a few things I need to go over. I think this is like my third one today. Yes, it's been a stressful day. First thing is, um, I'm 20. I'm 20 years old. Uh, I was born March 8th, 1996. Um, yeah, I was going to do a video March 8th, but I didn't feel like it. And I was doing other things like playing Hero Truck Simulator 2. Yes, I do play it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a gaming video. There's a little cheat I want to show you guys. Yeah. I can't believe it's already been 20 years. It's already been about... Two year, two or three years since I moved to my dad's. Yep. Um, I thought I'd do a quick update of, of various sorts. This is a aluminum coaster that I made on a Haas conversational CNC mill. Um, if you're not, if you guys aren't familiar what a CNC is, it's a convert. It's a computer nuclear control. It's basically a computer controlled machine. Uh, conversational, you can do the programming at the machine. And you don't have to have um, have to have the program all written out. You can program it at at the machine and do a bunch of stuff. Um, a circle, po a square pocket, circle pocket. My name, my name engraved. Um, that is way deeper than it called out on the print. Uh, I don't even know where I put the print at this point. These are quarter inch holes drilled. Um. Around the part, there was eight total. I really like how this turned out. Um, and yes, it does fit a pop can very nicely. And there's a cat by me playing in some of my papers. Um, this thing's still going strong. Um, I did something on a U print that. You'll be surprised. I do have to print a new uh, assembly because there because there's some things I want to change. Um, and there's some issues that I have to fix. Let me just. Yep, it's a piston cylinder assembly with connecting rod, crankshaft. And the normally this would rotate, but <clears throat> this will not uh, work due to my clearances being off. Yeah, big time. Um, I I thought I was looking on Thingiverse and I thought, ah, that'd be cool to make one to fit uh, this gearbox that I made on the U-print. I'm gonna also gonna put a thing here to match this. This uh contour, I think it's gonna look really nice, and I think I got my clearances right this time. Um, it did took take a quite a bit of uh, work to make that rotate. Um, just so you guys know, um, this does move up and down in the cylinder, and yeah. A little bit of a sloppy fit. Um, that's fine. I I changed the piston. I changed the connecting rod, and I made this a little bit better. That's what prototyping is. Um, uh, along the lines of 3D printing, um, I'm gonna make a electric uh, the DC electric motor mount for that DC electric motor for my water pump rig. I have the design up in SolidWorks. I just need to do a little bit of modifications. Um, thanks to 
one of my classmates for designing it because I didn't even know where to start. Thank you for that. Um, there's another project. Um, I'm going to basically repurpose this old tripod. It's still in good shape. Um, where's the right part? This goes right here. I, I'm, what I'm going to do is build a hopefully a LED work light slash video light. Um, it's I'm going to probably have it 120 volts or 12, 12 volts DC. Excuse me. I did buy this essential sale, so I do have something to work with for how I'm going to have to design it. Um, you can see this is too too big. Um, this was the other part that fit in there, and what this was the original handle. This is the handle that came off that one. I'm gonna use this because I like this better, and I'm gonna make a cap for right here. So yeah, so I can use this. It's it's longer. I'll have more leverage. So yeah. So I'll be able to do that. I have a little sticky note on what I need to cover. Um, water pump rig uh, update. Uh, the, of course, I'm going to be print 3D printing that <coughs> mount um, on Uprint. It's ABS, same as the pulley. Um, hopefully, this coming weekend or Sometime in the next month or two, I'll be able to get that thing, that project going. I just need to have a weekend free, um, and to go to my grandma's, um, to actually put the carb on, put the fuel tank back on, finish cleaning the fuel valve. So, yeah. Um, a little uh, update on the crosscut saw. I might be able to get my hands on a Continental 16 horsepower V twin <coughs> um, engine hand crank uh, engine for the crosscut. Um, it's one of the members of the Lakehead Harvester Union. He has it, so I'm gonna I gotta bring pictures of the mount so he knows how much clearance it, there is. <coughs> um, if not. Um, I'm probably not going to even try and rebuild that Kohler because you're looking at, if, if I don't have time, it's probably going to be 400 bucks to repair, to fix it. It would be pretty easy to pull the flywheel off. Um, yeah. I don't, it's so, it's, it's a project where it'd be nice to get that thing going, but There's so much stuff that's wrong with it. Uh, ignition, the fuel, the exhaust. Um, I'm going to try and save the clutch because I really like that clutch. It's a nice clutch. So I'm going to definitely have someone or me try and pull that clutch off. It's going to be pain in the butt, but it'll be worth it and it'll fit any three quarter inch shaft. So I'm going to try and get that clutch off before I decide, excuse me, it's the root beer talking, <laughs> um, before I uh, decide, basically if I'm going to decide to scrap that engine, I'm going to try and take the clutch off because that clutch is in really good shape, it works, it has the right pitch for that <coughs> crosscut saw. Um, which is, I believe is number 35 chain. Um, I could get a clutch, a centrifugal clutch for it, but my dad, I know you're going to say it, say it, but my dad thinks a 10 horsepower single cylinder diesel would not be good on that because it would be only used, be used three, four, max five days a year, maybe more, I don't know. So a diesel, wouldn't be good in, in, in that application. Application. Uh, it would power it, but that 16 horsepower between, if it fits, 
I might have to do a little bit of modification to the <coughs> base plate, get a longer chain. Um, that would actually power it real well, and it will it'll look better than that dinky little four horse Kohler engine that has a six to one gear reduction. Yeah, I think that V twin or a similar size, um, or like a ten horse flathead single cylinder I think would work um, that's our uh, clock ringing uh, noon um, let's see I know it's been a long month you haven't heard from me I've just been so flipping busy with school and work and trying to deal with every stuff that's going on yeah, I just didn't feel like making a video. I said, why not make one just to keep you guys in the loop. <clears throat> um, yeah, this this coaster actually works pretty well for this pop can. I really like it. Um, yeah, that was that's the school project where I I still have to show it to my instructor, <laughs> and I'm already using it. Yeah, I love it. Originally, these corners were uh, square-ish, so I rounded them off. I really like it how it turned out. It's a pretty decent coaster. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if I, I would love to run my uh, 25, but like when I get home, I normally just surf the internet, and then late at night, I like to play uh, your truck some later too for about two hours then I just check through my sites my surf the internet for about half hour and then I go straight to bed or yeah that's basically how I unwind from the day and I don't really want to sit here and play with my Jensen 25 and make a video for, for you because I know um, I might um, I don't know <coughs> um, Hopefully, don't hold me to this, but hopefully in the next month. If not, I'll try and make a video of it running. Um, I might just, I'll probably do a close up of it. Um, uh, a little bit of update on the condensate trap. Um, I was going to run copper, like, Eighth inch uh, ID uh, copper tubing um, from here to the steam engine, but the more I think about it, this thing is a lot better for that. And yeah, I I have the stuff here, but I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I. I've been doing a little bit more machining on the at school for uh, design concepts too, where we design and build a battle bot. Um, yeah, um, I'll post the pictures at the end of just two steps I did. It's a uh, s simple shaft um, with a spacer in the in the middle with two holes drilled through the spacer. I haven't drilled those holes yet. That's probably going to be next week or the week after. Now that's is to hold a large uh, pinion gear from a angle grinder that I bought at Central Sales. Um, uh, 40 bucks. <laughs> and then four bearings at a dollar fifty nine each. You can figure that out. I've spent quite a bit at Central sales for our robot. Um, and what I'm thinking is use the gearbox. Um, after or the competition, um, that's if the gears aren't shot, and use it for uh, another project. Just modify the shaft or make two new ones, but keep the housing. Yeah. Oh, um, I've been showing you guys this. 
but this is a woodwick candle um it's evening bonfire man i love woodwicks um yeah i burn it two three maybe four hours maybe five hours a day um i haven't burned it in the last like week um you can see the um, You can see the the wick in there. It's a stars uh, cross shape. Um, that is from the from the uh, flame. And I just wanted to see what was gonna happen when uh, I put the wick out, but the wax was about here. <laughs> I really like wood wicks. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just the crackling of the wood, um, like a bonfire or a campfire. Yeah. Um, I can't really think of anything else. Um, yeah. If anything comes up, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, probably not until my next step update. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry for my rambling but it's a Friday morning at 12.06 so <clears throat> um I don't work till noon so yeah I might as well stay up late I only need seven and a half hours of sleep so thanks for watching please comment comment co comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next video